Welcome to Singularity, where we help you do it better, smarter, and faster. I'm Mario. And I'm Nina. Recently, we got a question from Lenore. What to do when her, uh, when her free antivirus expires? Hey, Lenore. Thanks for the question. Thank you for the question. See, there's actually three tiers of antivirus out there. Free, there's consumer, and then there's business. Free antivirus, I hate free antivirus. Mm, why? When you get a free piece of software, you become the product. Having free antivirus is better than nothing. Just make sure you pay attention to every little checkbox during installation. And then you get an extra toolbar on your And then you get 10 browser. extra toolbars. Yeah, you get 10 <laughs> extra toolbars on your web browsers. And at least skim the license agreement. You know, it might be okay. It's a lot of legal gibberish. I'm sorry about that. But take your time. It's the price you're paying for getting a free lunch. So basically, we would say that free antivirus at least protects you, but you are giving up something in return. You're giving up a bit of privacy should... in return at least be aware of that. And I know Avast is pretty good, AVG is pretty good, uh, and there's a couple others, and Avira for Macs is also very good. Consumer level antivirus is their company's experimental version. What they do is they throw it out there to consumers to test their new, more aggressive antivirus techniques their new signatures, their new features. It's where they experiment to then release those features into their business version, which is the most stable version of antivirus and the most powerful. Asymantec Endpoint, Norton Antivirus, and uh, that entire line. Over the years, they have been the best overall company that produces this sort of software. My other favorites I have are Avira for Mac. They have a paid version as well. Kapersky for both PC and Mac are also very, very powerful. Webroot is also a nice up and comer, which uses a tiny, tiny installer file, less than a megabyte. And uh, all their virus scanning is done through their cloud servers, which is, extremely interesting because it doesn't take up a lot of your system's horsepower or space. Do Lenore, you? here's the specific instructions for you. Uninstall AVG completely. Go to Add Remote Programs and Control Panel. Uninstall AVG completely. Then go back to the AVG website, choose AVG Free, and pay close attention to the checkboxes as you're reinstalling it. Once you're done, you'll have some good protection and a little bit of marketing spam, which you'll have to live with because it's free. Or otherwise, you could go and purchase a single consumer user license to have consumer-level antivirus. Yeah. Thanks for the question, Lenore. Thank you very much. You have to make sure all the antivirus is out before you put new antivirus in because otherwise they'll fight. Yes. <laughs> and that will Two cause antiviruses bad on the same machine? Yeah. They don't get along. It's important to note that even if you do have antivirus, the greatest antivirus, the best protection, if you click on something that you shouldn't be clicking on, the best antivirus isn't going to protect you. Yeah. Of course, everything that we talk about brand-wise and different types of antivirus that you can use free or not is going to be linked in the description below. So if you want to go and check those out, those are available. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back to work!